UI window system and tools will enhance your Unity UI layout and usage experience, and here is why. This asset allows you to create a UI system quickly and easily, mainly operating it from code. It comes with a bunch of features like custom buttons, UI switch, etc. I will demonstrate how you can use it in your project. I have an empty project opened. First of all, I will import the package into the project. There is a sample scene included in the project, you are free to experiment with it. But right now, I want to build something from scratch real quick, so let's create an empty scene and a few folders. Now, let's create a sample UI screen with a title text in the center. We can drag this screen into the prefabs folder. We need to do two more things for this panel. Firstly, we need to attach a UI window inheritor component to it. And secondly, we need to add it to the UI window list config file. Let's do that. I will create a new C -sharp script called sample window. Inside, I will write a simple init method to set our title text. I should inherit from the UI window component. This is vital. After we've attached the script, we will go to the configs folder and drag our window into the window list. You can see that we can choose window type here. However, this is not obligatory. When should you do that? Generally, I would advise to add a new window to your window list each time you create one. But to access your window through code, it is not compulsory to do. Later on, we will see how and when we can use it. One more thing, let's choose the animations for our window. I want a simple fade in and fade out. Our window is ready, and most of the time when you're all set up, that would be just it. However, right now we do not have the handler for all our windows on the scene, let's add it. What exactly is overlay UI? If you are using dependency injection solution like Zinject, Project Context would be a perfect place for such a handler. However, in the asset it's just a single ton, so that you would not be obliged to use the inject with this system. In a nutshell, this script manages access to all of your windows. Thus, I will add overlay UI just to the canvas component and add necessary components to it. Those would be a canvas under which our windows will be placed and our config list. Finally, the last thing we need is any sort of a button to load our window. There are two main ways you can do that. First is to assign that from the inspector directly. Another one is more custom, we will look at both ways. Starting from the first one, let me get back to the UI window list here. I will add a new entry to our UI window list and assign it in the config file. Now. Back in the inspector, I will use our custom UI button system. I will create a simple button in the bottom left corner and attach show window button component to it. As you can see, I can choose the window to show. That's why we needed to make a new entry in the UI window list. Let's test how everything works. If I click the button, I will see that our window appears with the corresponding animation. One more thing I want to add is a close button. So I will go to the sample window prefab and add that. And I will attach hide window button component with the very familiar functionality as the show window button, obviously. Let's check this. Now we can hide our window. 
now you can remember that I wrote an init method in the window and currently I'm not using it. So let's try something new. Now I want a custom behavior for the load panel button. I will remove show window button component and add a new one. Inside we will inherit from the UI button component. All I need now is to create two methods. Let's write load sample window method. Inside it we can use our overlay UI and this is very handy. I will load the window using the load window method with the type of our window. It will return a cached window instance if it was already loaded, otherwise it will load and return it. I will init the window with hello world text. The last but not the least, I want not just to load but to show the window. I will write wait window dot show and choose the sibling type. Thus, I will make the method a sync. And finally, in a bake, I will call the assign action method to assign the functionality to our button. As we can see, everything works. So, to add new windows, you would usually not need to repeat most of these steps, just creating UI window inheritors. Feel free to check out the documentation and explore the asset. There are a lot of animations, additional functions like UI switch, just like the UI button and more. Good luck!